go to our Rich Reeve there live. We're only going to hear Rich's voice. What's, what? Tell us about it, Rich. Kevin, uh, we just arrived here moments ago to see the flames erupting out of that side of the third precinct, and you can see uh, there is quite a large crowd here. Uh, we did hear some fire units earlier, but as far as I can see, I do not see anyone from the fire department here today. Uh, not only that, Lance, if you can pan to the left, uh, the GM Tobacco Building is also on fire. That is just Basically, it's on, almost on the same block as the 3rd Precinct, and you can see smoke and flame billowing out of there, uh, and that fire has been burning uh, very severely for quite a while now. But the, these flames here at the 3rd Precinct, uh, we just arrived here and saw those flames erupting, and it looks like it is certainly consuming the interior of that building. And again, as far as I can tell, we have seen no one from the fire department arriving here yet. Back to you. Rich, stay with me here. Describe, we're seeing fireworks, we're seeing people dancing and celebrating. Describe the crowd there. Well, people are, yes, setting off fireworks and there are huge crowds in the street. And uh, as far as I can see, I see no police here at all on this scene. So basically you have that that intersection, that Minnehaha intersection, uh, completely filled with people right now. And as far as I can tell, there's no police uh, activity here. There's no firefighter activity here. So this, you can see, look, look at the building. You can see it. It is beginning to consume the front part of that building as we speak. And we, of course, see more and more uh, fireworks going off here. But just just a terrible scene. Uh, it's This fire seems to be consuming that building and nobody is putting it out and crowds are chanting, or crowds are filling the street rather, and dancing and it's, it's just, a, just a sad, sad scene. Okay, 